today we will discuss the topic creativity and creative thinking process in product development and launching and first of all we discuss the creativity creativity is a mental process involving the generations of new ideas or concepts for a new product development or the new associations between existing ideas or concepts it's breaking out of established patterns to look at things in a different way the skill of being able to produce something new which having some value if we talk about a business then we have to see that what we have to do a new that uh, the product is the demand of product is increased for that creativity is very necessary or the creative thinking process is very necessary creativity involves the ability to acquire knowledge break it down and rearrange it in an altogether different manner to generate something new and valuable it arises out of skillful restructuring of our thoughts to allow novel points of view about a given subject or situation what makes a creative person different or special to understanding this the sensitivity to the existence of problems opportunities gaps in knowledge inconsistencies and lack of harmony ability to use existing knowledge in new ways to search for solutions make guesses and test their validity since knowledge is not always gained through language alone creative feelings or creative ideas is also cannot always be expressed in words there are three levels of creativity or creative thinking process according to psychologist abraham maslow creativity is a facet of the highest human need self actualization he proposes three level of creativity in which primary creativity secondary creativity and integrated creativity in primary creativity the level from which new and fundamental ideas arises and radically differs from what exists they are oftenly expressed in arts and literature most of the process are spontaneous and childlike and a 
if not always concerned with the utility of the work the stress is on self expression in secondary creativity the ideas that are based on an existing concept which they already exist in work further the product of collecting effort and synergy the level of thoughts and planning is higher and in integrated creativity level of creativity that often brings out great achievements be it in art literature science or business it combines the elements of primary and secondary levels of creativity the spontaneity of primary creativity is general using extensive thoughts about the required outcomes another definition can also discussed that uh, margaret bodden another influential researcher stresses that creativity is a fundamental feature of our intelligence and it is presents in everyone he says that it is a skill which can be learned by anyone using systematic procedures bodden also defines three kinds of creativity combination natural creativity exploratory creativity and transformational creativity in combine combinatorial creativity that we know ideas are combined in a new and different way to form new ideas and concepts and the familiar ideas are connected in unfamiliar ways making a collage a poetry in exploratory creativity new ideas are generated by exploring structure concepts which currently exist it happens often within a domain often incremental but useful and steady it contributes greatly by improving and refining existing structures and redefining boundaries for example creation and use of new parts like laptop pump top by combining parts of already existing words next transformational creativity the deepest kinds of creativity where new ideas emerge by radically changes the structured concepts themselves forces a substantial restructuring of an artist thought associated with a great leap of imagination can challenge the existing frameworks of ideas that are also considered now we discuss that that to what the things that are lie in the creativity or not creativity a basic capability of the human brain is happening and an mystic ability that comes only to a few that is not happening in the creativity a skill which can be learned and improved the product of disciplined thinking the result of being open to experience the process that involves trial and errors that are all involved in creativity inspired or path breaking ideas all the time a matter or waiting for inspiration to come that are not happening creative process that the analysis evolution and synthesis that are the process critical and creative thinking process both are involves use of higher order thinking skills and this 
am using for the critical skills in the preparation and verification phases, critical thinking skills in the incubation and elimination phases that are all about for creativity and creative thinking process. Thank you. Thank you.